All right, everyone. So today we are going to go through the different softwares, websites, CRMs. I've been getting a lot of questions on these lately in terms of like which which software, which web, IDX website, which CRMs are the best. Um, and it's important to, to have these different softwares and systems working for you to manage our lead flow, our clients, and have these different automations working for us. Um, and then to connect with leads when we're busy. And with the integration of artificial intelligence, it's been easier than ever before. Um, but in a space that's incredibly busy and there's lots of lots of different tools out there, um, it can be tough to decide like which one is best suited for, for you, the business. And we want to highlight like all the important elements of each software, the pros and cons of each ones, at least for the ones that we've worked with. And yeah, and kind of give you all of the best recommendations and combinations, whether you're an individual agent, a team or new agent or a broker. Okay. Now in terms of like how to choose the, the right software. And again, this is going to vary for, for every single agent. Um, but, uh, there's a couple things to consider when we do go into our, like what is going to be the best suited for us. Right. Because, um, there's a lot of different factors depending on like your volume, your workflow, stuff like that. Um, the in all in all, the the most important, like the the most effective CRM that you're going to use is going to be the one that you you use, right? If you don't like it, if if you don't like the interface, um, it's not going to serve you well. Now, when exploring the different options, uh, what you will want to understand in like if you're going in different different Zoom calls or meetings uh, with these different providers, um, these are a lot of the different questions that you want to ask. Okay, um, these are some of the questions that I've had agents ask me, um, and a lot of the, the questions that do come up in conversation. Okay, so first and foremost, like will will you have access to your own number? Will you have to purchase a number through the CRM? Um, very rarely there are a couple of CRMs that don't or sorry, that do allow you to use your own number or they at least forward it to your phone. However, the, the majority of them will require you to purchase a number or they'll provide a number through the CRM. Um, another thing that comes up is like, what are the usage limits for outgoing calls and SMS? Is it included or is it additional? Um, every CRM is a little bit different in terms of how they charge for, for calls and SMS. Some included, some don't. And uh, what is the the automation and the workflows include, right? Because every every CRM is going to have different capabilities for drip sequences, um, like how they're set up, like what their their cadence is in terms of timing, stuff like that. Um, and then does it have an API integration? This is so so critical. I find a lot of the older older IDX providers don't have API integrations, and what API is is a like essentially it's a line of code that you use to connect different tools and softwares and CRMs across the internet um, to communicate information. And if it doesn't have a API integration, um, it is incredibly outdated. So I try to veer agents away from anything that doesn't have an API integration. Um, how is social media and video content integrated into the drip sequences? Some Some providers will have like a direct... Uh, feature to include different videos. Um, they'll have the ability to manage social media from that CRM specifically. Um, and then now a, a very important uh, consideration as well is how is artificial intelligence integrated into the CRMs? Um, there are some that have been ahead of the curve that have integrated AI right away. There are some that haven't, there are some CRMs that haven't even touched AI yet, which is um, uh, which is not the, the best way to go about things. Okay, and then um, in terms of like the setup, like how is the support, how is the training, how is the responses? Every every CRM and every IDX provider has varying levels of support and training. Some barely any at all. Some are super responsive and will hop on a Zoom call with you. It just just depends on the program, and we'll go into each of the ones uh, specifically here. Um, and then how, like, how can I keep track of the, the metrics and reporting? So your calls, answers, appointments, deals, every, every CRM has varying levels of uh, what they track, uh, pickups, stuff like that. And then how is the, the dashboard and functionality of the CRM? Because again, this is kind of what summarizes all of the, the different factors and you want to make sure that it is well suited for you and your workflow. Um, any, any uh, questions there so far now? 
No, you're doing great. You answered everything. Okay, perfect. What, uh, what CRMs and softwares are you using right now? I use KV Core now, but I don't like it. I don't like that I have to use their phone number. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, well, we're going to go into, um, into it. Okay. So uh, before we dive into like each of the different providers, um, it's important to understand like the difference between IDX websites and CRMs, because again, like not all softwares and CRMs are made the same. Um, a lot of them try to kind of be that all in one and essentially jack of all trades. And we found when they try to do everything well, um, not, not, nothing's done well, right? Um, so we've seen like the, the best performance when uh, you have a front-facing IDX website and it's paired with a backend CRM to kind of manage the, the lead flow, the automations, the sequences, landing pages, stuff like that. And uh, to push all the advertising to, to the, the front-facing IDX website. A lot of IDX providers will have IDX capability, or sorry, CRM capabilities, but I found for the majority of them that they just don't have the, the like the functionality and they're not as, as robust as some of these platforms that focus specifically on just being a CRM, okay? Um, the, the automation capabilities aren't, aren't there um, and they can be incredibly outdated in terms of what they provide. So we try to lean on, again, like having, having, the uh like the agents pair uh front facing idx website and a back end crm and we've seen that the the best agents and the best teams that produce especially like from from online means online leads that they they have a combination of the two right and it's really really important like especially as you start to grow and scale to have all of these like the, the right tools, right? Because the, the upside of having all the right tools is very high, especially when you start to scale and you're putting a lot of money and, and time and effort uh, behind it. And then the downside of using the wrong tools is really low. It's like three to $400, right? So um, in terms of, yeah, like your your opportunity costs, it's like we always try to veer on the side of of investing a little bit more in your systems and your softwares. Um, because again, like as you start to spend more and more money, you want to make sure that money goes farther and farther and you have to be able to have the right tools to do so. Okay. So um, now knowing that uh, we'll go, kind of go into like the, the different IDX websites. Again, you're not going to see everything on here. Like we've worked with more, we've worked with some more than others. Um, and these were kind of like our, our opinions on each of these. Okay. So first, foremost, KV Core, um, this is probably the one that comes up the most in conversations. And the reason is, is because it is provided through a lot of agents brokerages. And although it may seem free, right, there's nothing is ever free in, in this life, right? And for, in my experience, KV Core just really isn't the best solution. It might've been, you know, five, seven years ago, but in terms of the uh, the deliverability now um, and the functionality for for me there are better solutions out there. It has a outdated user interface, and for for a lot of people, it can be slow to upload. And when you're driving traffic from like paid leads, right? If it, if there's a slow load time, it's going to affect your conversions on ads. And we've seen the conversion rates or the conversion costs be almost double what it is to some of the other other providers, right? So if you're putting three, four, five thousand dollars per month into into a advertising campaign, right? It's going to essentially cost you twice as much more because you didn't invest the extra hundred or two hundred dollars every single month to have a, a IDX website that was designed to accept th th this traffic. Okay. Um, KV Core, because they grew really, really quickly initially, I find that their support is very slow. The training resources are there, but are kind of lackluster. And it really like it gets the job done. And like if for an agent that just isn't looking to spend any money and is provided through their website, you know, it's okay. But there are, are definitely better solutions out there. Um, and in my in my experience, it's kind of mediocre. So for this, for this reason, I give it uh two stars. Okay. Um, now we'll we'll go into brevity. So brevity. Uh, I have some, some really positive stuff to say about Brevity. Like we've worked with a lot of agents that use a Brevity website and it is a very solid all-in-one platform. And it's probably the only one that I would recommend that kind of has all of the, the functionalities. Um, it has a very polished front-facing website. It has great reporting features. It tracks everything from calls, answers, appointments, sales, stuff like that. And it can be good, especially as you start to grow a bit of a team. 
Um, the support can be slow at times. We have run into issues uh, trying to implement like different codes on websites and stuff um, where it's taken as, as much as a month. Um, so just something to be aware of, but, uh, yeah, they're dripping drip campaigns and automations are okay and could be improved. Um, but all in all, like very, very polished website, very polished backend. Um, and because of that, I give it, uh, give it four stars. Um, and then here are some of examples of clients who are using, um, Brevity websites. As you can see, they have very, um, okay, we'll give it a sec to load. Um, but they are very polished uh, websites and they are they are optimized to accept um, paid paid advertising traffic. So uh, they work really well in that regard. And a lot of our top producing clients actually use um, Brivity websites, okay? Um, now next is Chime slash Lofty. So they were initially called Chime. They recently rebranded to Lofty um, and they've been making more and more updates to their platform. I've, be I've been becoming... A bit of a fan of them um, because they are they are pretty focused on product development. Um, they are optimized for uh, paid traffic and they convert leads generally pretty well. <laughs> um, a lot of their campaigns and automation features are better than most IDX providers. Is one thing that I was very um, uh, impressed with. Um, and then they also have a landing page builder that's included, which the majority of IDX providers don't have. Um, and then they have like uh, examples and templates included um, that you can just build from. Um, and they also have an integration with artificial intelligence, which a lot of these IDX providers don't really have, which is really cool. Um, the only drawback with Chime is that their support isn't that great. So when you are setting up the website, you know, it can be pretty challenging and the responses are slow. And one thing with, especially like if you're getting a new, um, a new IDX website set up, one thing that a lot of agents don't value is the support because with all this tech stuff, there is a lot that can go wrong and you want to be able to have like uh someone that you can go to someone that you can reach out and get that support from to resolve any issues that do come up because especially in the beginning stuff always comes up and the setup can always be pretty challenging so i'm um, having someone to lean on is definitely important um so just something to consider when you are going into uh, a lot of these um like uh, when you when you are looking at uh, integrating one of these uh, idx providers now, next is uh, Sierra Interactive. And um, truthfully, like we didn't start using Sierra till um, probably like the last six months or so. Um, but they have been they have been great, right? It's a very, very robust platform with lots of different options. Um, it, what's really cool with them is that you can set up, uh, like as a real estate agent, you can set up advanced searches for prospects. So instead of using the MLS, you can actually do it on their, uh, their backend. And you can actually see what listings that a, a prospect has looked at. So when they do look at those listings, you can give them a shout, reach out and say like, hey, do you want to take a look at this one? What were your thoughts? Stuff like that, which I find really, really cool. And then the, the um, like the, how robust the searches are that you can set up is really, really cool. It's, it's pretty much the similar to the MLS. And then um, these are optimized for uh, paid, uh, paid traffic and they convert leads really, really well. Our team uses Sierra Interactive. Um, the automations could be improved, um, but you can pair it with a backend CRM, which is what uh, what we do and what we recommend. And then they have a great support and great training. And as you can see, like we we rank it at four stars. Um, Sierra has been um, awesome to to deal with. Um, and then this is our our website here. It's a very very polished. Um, it has all the tools and stuff that you need here in terms of you know advertising listings stuff like that. So definitely. Uh, Sierra, Sierra is a really solid um, platform. The only drawback is that um, it can get really pricey, especially as the team starts to grow, and uh, which is why we only recommend it for for teams that are growing a little bit quicker, or if they have uh, a bunch of different agents. Um, and now Real Geeks. So Real Geeks is is a good platform if you are just getting started. Um, they are very well burst and optimized for paid traffic and they convert leads really well because their websites load really, really quickly. Um, and typically across the board, like real geeks among, among others usually has the best conversion metric. So you're getting the cheapest leads by having a real geeks website. And then, um, the drip 
Drip campaigns and sequences are okay. They could be a little bit better. Um, and then the the front facing like interface on Real Geeks websites, they do tend to be a little bit outdated, I find, um, which I know that they are working on. And then um, it is a it is an okay all in one platform um, for for agents that are either tight on a budget or just starting starting out. It, it is super cost effective, but as you start to scale and as you need more like automation sequences and drips and stuff like that, it can be a little bit challenging just because of the limitations on a lot of the um, sequences. Okay. Um, and then we have like their, their support and training is good. They also have uh, support and setting up, which is good as well. Um, and yeah, all in all, I would give them about a, a three star. Um, they are working on, on their product and making it a little bit more updated, but um, yeah, we'll wait to see what they ultimately um, do with their uh, platform. I saw we had uh, Eric hop in. Eric, how we doing? All right. Okay. We'll loop back. Awesome. Okay, guys. So that is our, like essentially every it for um, the IDX providers, at least the ones that we've worked pretty, pretty frequently with. Like I know there's, um, there's like Sync Pro and Agent Locator, but I haven't worked with those as much. So I don't have as much of an opinion on them. All in all though, um, again, it depends on your budget and like your priorities, but my my biggest recommendations would probably be Brivity and Sierra. And then if you're on a budget, uh, you'll probably be looking at Real Geeks. Now let's go into the, the different backend CRMs and to reiterate the, the top performing agents that we've seen produce the best results, whether it's a newer agent, a, a top producer or broker, they usually pair an IDX website with a backend CRM. Um, so we have our in-house CRM called Agent Pro. It is a high level integrated CRM. Um, again, with these, there's no front facing IDX website. Um, you are to, to pair these with the IDX website through uh, API or Zapier. Um, and Agent Pro is a great platform for drip sequences, for automations. They have a landing page building software. Um, we integrate AI with it as well. Um, and you can manage leads and clients uh, very, very effectively through it. Um, we we use uh, Agent Pro with, with our front facing business. Um, so it's, again, we're, we're always constantly updating it, refining it, stuff like that. Um, and it comes uploaded with all the different buyer drip uh, buyer and seller drip campaigns. Um, the reporting is okay, but it could be a little bit improved. One of the challenges with the reporting is that um, it marks all answered calls, um, even if it goes to voicemail, which is one of the drawbacks if you're really tracking like pickups and appointment uh, setting rates. And then um, it is really cost effective um, for new agents and individual agents. And we do have a free 30-day uh, 30 day trial for anyone looking to give it a test. And then all in all, um, again, we've been developing it over the last four years and we would give it uh, four stars in uh, in total. But for for us, like where we see the, the most effective one, and this is more for top producing agents or team leaders, broker owners, stuff like that with a team of agents, um, Follow up boss, like hands down, is the the best best CRM that I've used. Um, it has a great great user interface. Um, and it's easily managed for for agents. Um, they have great support staff. Um, they give you an account manager. Um, for for helping with setup and implementation and questions. Um, they do charge on a per seat basis. So as more agents are added to the team, it can get pretty pricey. I think it's like forty or fifty bucks US per seat. Um, but what's really cool with the with uh, follow up boss is they have smart views as well, um, which is really really good for lead management. So you can set up smart views for people that are like hot that you're actively working with, like nurture leads, um, people that haven't been called within one two three days, stuff like that. It has a lot of custom great customization, um, and then their reporting is the best that I've seen across all platforms. They have so many different ways to to report on. Um, calls on pickups, appointments. Um, they like for the agents to kind of keep the the competitive nature. They have a point ranking system. So um, for for our team specifically, we always um, like we have a competition every week on who makes the most most calls, most appointment sets, stuff like that. Um, and then all in all, uh, five stars for for follow up boss. Um, all 
every top producing like team that I've talked to, um, they either have follow up boss integrated already, or they we we recommend them and help them set up a uh, follow up boss. So it is incredibly incredibly uh, useful. Um, now, in terms of our recommendations, guys, everyone's situation is going to be different, and there isn't a all in one software that like 100% of people are going to use or going to find valuable, right? Um, and as you start to grow and scale and optimize, it's really, really important to use the right tools to ensure that uh, they are the best at each single element of the process. And to reiterate, the upside of using the right tools is very, very high, right? But the downside of using the wrong tools can be, you know, three to $400 a month, right? So you have way more upside for very little downside. Um, now, in total, for for our our genuine recommendation. So, if you're like a new agent or an individual agent, and the the budget is limited, you can get away with purchasing a Brevity website um, and using it individually. Like it has some pretty good backend CRM capabilities. Uh, but what we would recommend is using a Real Geeks website. Um, I think it's either like $250 or $299 per month. Um, it's specifically optimized for Google PPC traffic and then pairing it with uh, with Agent Pro. This single-handedly is going to be the most cost-effective solution that will allow you to have the most necessary tools to convert on prospects uh, and manage your, your lead flow uh, really well. And then for, for top producers and team leads, if you are producing at a high capacity or if you have like a team of agents, um, we recommend using uh, Sierra Interactive IDX website just because of the polished look, the premier support and all the robust features like the search. Um, and then pairing it up with, with follow-up boss on the back end to really maximize the, the lead contacts, the conversions. Once you start operating with uh, inside sales agent, um, they're, they're really, really good with that as well. Um, and this is what we've seen works best with all the different team leads that we've talked to, uh, as well as our team specifically. This is what we use um, and what we've we found work best. And we do anywhere from, from three to seven deals per month, um, all using these, these tools. So... Um, so yeah, guys, that is that that is the software's websites and CRMs in a nutshell. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll kind of do a quick uh, roundtable here. Nav, um, any any questions, thoughts, feedback, and uh, which ones kind of catch your eye? I, I like your comments on follow up boss and uh, Brivity. So can you use Brivity with? So for you, go, if you use Brivity, do you have to? Can you use it just? You say you can use it just by itself. But you're saying um, you can also use it with follow up boss. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You can for sure. So so Brevity like has um, like decent backend CRM capabilities, but again, you're n you're not going to get as many conversions with um, like than you will from using follow up boss. Like follow up yeah. boss for for every agent, I just I so strongly recommend it. Like after you after having used it for the last three, four years, like nothing else has come close in terms of backend CRMs. Um, and yeah, you can, as long as like your IDX website provider has a API connection, right? Or API key, um, you can connect, uh, you can connect anything to, to follow up us. So a quick question is, can you use uh, like a GoDaddy website and then tie it, tie it up to follow up us? I would not use a GoDaddy website for, for any lead generation. Yeah, so GoDaddy, so GoDaddy, like you use it to purchase the domain, but yes. then you point the you point the domain to an IDX website provider, right? I okay. wouldn't because I know I know GoDaddy has the ability, which mo most domain registrars do have now. They have the ability to connect or to build a website on their page, um, and that would work if we weren't in real estate because real estate is the only like niche, essentially, your only space where. Um, like our lead magnet is the MLS, right? And yes. there are, you can hook up the MLS to a, like a landing page website, but it's not, I wouldn't spend any money driving traffic to it. We've done it with clients before um, that wanted to save money on the IDX website and it just doesn't work. Okay. So we always recommend like, yeah, purchase the domain through GoDaddy or Google domains or whatever it is, but then you want to have that IDX website. Um, you can't you can't pay for any leads, and we don't even allow agents to 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 launch campaigns without an IDX website. So 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 okay. So if I go to a Brivity website, and then the Brivity will set up the link to the 
uh, pop-up was. Like, yeah, so essentially, like, you'll you'll set up the website. So for you, like, let's just say it's navbengal.com. Um, you point that domain to the IDX website. So when you search up that domain, it'll go to the Brivity website. And then if a lead comes in through Facebook, through Google, through your YouTube, whatever it is, and they click on that, um, like on your website and submit their information, you set up a Zapier connection. So when they make that, when they submit their info, it zaps that information into a follow-up box. Great, thank you. Yeah. No worries. Great, uh, great questions. Um, Eric, any 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 thoughts, questions? Which uh, which softwares and CRMs are you using currently? I don't think Eric has his micro microphone connected. Yeah, I think he was typing. All oh, good. Okay, guys. Well, thanks thanks for uh, hopping in today. Um, do me a favor and drop your biggest takeaways in the school community, what you learned, what your biggest takeaways were. Um, and we will be here tomorrow just for a quick Q&A. And uh, thanks again for, for hopping in, guys. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Thank you, Mason. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.